So following on from the previous two videos, um, now we're going to look at the second derivative. By looking at the second derivative, it will also give us some, some information about the original function. Okay, so um, so so looking at the uh, looking at the second derivative here. Um, so when when um, when when the second derivative, hang on, when the second derivative is greater than zero, we said that the original function f of x concave up, it would do this. Okay, when 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 f double prime of x is less than zero, uh, the original function would concave down. Okay, and and there's a reason why that is because if you look at this here, so so this uh, the the red line here represents this uh, function here, the uh, the blue line here represents the uh, first derivative, the green line represents the second derivative. Now, if you look at the second derivative, if you look at this, the second derivative being greater than zero. Now, how from here is zero. So so the so the region where where this where where f double prime is greater than zero, that's this region here. So we are looking at this. Uh, we are looking at f double prime of x being greater than zero. That's this region here. Now, when f when when f double prime is greater than zero, it means that the gradient is always in, is always increasing. It's, um, yeah, it's all. If um if if f double prime is greater than zero, it means that the the gradient is always in increasing. Now, if the gradient is always increasing, it, it means that that the original function is 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 well. You can see why. If if you look at this, if the gradient is uh, is always increasing, then that means let's look at this bit here. This here, let's say the gradient here is negative four, and then looking at this here, let's say the gradient here is negative three. You can see that the gradient is increasing. Let's say at this point here. Uh, the the gradients if if the gradient is always increasing then this here is negative two so you can, you can see it's always um, it's always uh, increasing here here we can say that the gradient is negative one and you can see from minus four it's increasing to minus one and then that on here we can say it's zero the gradient is zero and then you can say that oh here is a gradient of one here you can say it's a gradient of two and you see by by the gradient increasing, it, it means that the um, the uh, the original function it really concaves up here. Yeah, you can see there, and and you you can use the same argument with um, with f double prime b 